Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to The Crew 2. Yes, I know. We're, we're coming back to The Crew 2 right now because this is the second last car we have to make a video on for The Crew 2. I think. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not so sure. I'm right. This is the second last car, which effectively means it's the second last video. The next last one will be the Proto Flashback, which I'm very close to unlocking. I'm three tiers away in the Motor Pass or the whatever it's called. Jeez, there's so many passes. And I've got to say, it's a bit sad. And I didn't even know I had this car. I just looked in my thing and I was like, wait, I've got a Chevrolet Corvette C7 ZR1 convertible and it's in the hypercar class. Yeah, I'm glad in the Motorfest they fiddled with that a little more. Classes make a little more sense. And yeah, I just, it's a bit odd. I think that this is in the hyper class, but you know what? It's fine. I'm hoping that there's customization for it and actually before that I want to read out some stats we've got a top speed of almost 280 miles an hour and almost 1200 horsepower which is insane 1200 horsepower in a Corvette I don't think y'all have ever heard of that before I sure haven't I think that's crazy so without further ado we're gonna see what beautiful color we can make this car I hate them all. I think we might do a livery, to be honest. I usually don't go for this, but you know, I just, sometimes it's necessary. This is the only one that's somewhat cool. I am going to go for that. Maybe the color we can change on it too. Nope. It'll only end up changing. The inside. Has he tinted the window with the livery? No, he hasn't. Oh my god. Oh, he has. I don't like that. You know what? Why do I do this to myself? He had a good thing going with that too. Damn you. We're just going to make it yellow. We got regular customization. That is what matters. So hood... What are we going to throw on? Are we feeling all carbon? No. No, I'm not. I'm not feeling that today, actually. This thing has some really ugly custom kits here. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm genuinely not a fan. This just looks like a 4... 488. Why would, you, why would anyone make it look like that? I think I'm actually going to do the 488 bumper. I, I hate to say it. I hate to be that guy. It looks like an F12 Berlinetta. At the front. It. There's a lot of things wrong with that. If you don't know, then what are you even doing here? We can go from this puny crap wing to a beautiful chassis mount with carbon. Or a smaller chassis mount. Obviously the biggest. Duh. Rear bumper. I'm a little concerned. I don't know what I want to throw on. I feel like making the whole back carbon could be the motive. I kind of like that actually. And we'll just do that yellow stitching. That's pretty cool actually. Carbon in there. Yeah. And we're done. Ladies and gentlemen... This is the C7 ZR1. Let, let's just listen to the startup, okay? Let's let's just listen. She sounds really good. I was not expecting that. She's very grippy. I gripped that turn fully without trying. Definitely got hypercar speed, so I can see why it's in the hypercar class. But I feel like against a Veyron or a Chiron, there's little to no difficulty for the Chiron. I'm actually a fan. Is there, an hy is there a hypercar event that we can indulge in that we haven't done yet? I know I was saying that I would always do 
the creator races and it appears there's some we haven't done any actual races yet this is actually perfectly fitting this is the flashback one of the flashback events and it's the only one we haven't done so um i say we do it God, look at this thing it's very simple i really hate how plain it looks but there were no better options at the front bumper and i didn't want to make just the front bumper carbon i think the fact that i made the rear bumper just carbon is weird enough so we're not going to talk about that that was cute that was a cute little thing interesting we got a stacked hypercar lineup a bunch of bugattis maseratis mclaren porsche jag ferrari that's the f12 there see i'm literally i'm twinning i'm twinning ao and this thing can't uh, can't slow down for shit We just drove through a volcano. That was really cool. This 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 pixelated map is actually pretty cool, I'll be honest. Kinda reminds me of Oahu, you know, where the Motorfest takes place. I think that's the goal though. I swear this is literally like the map. I can tell. That that's what their idea was here. And I did not anticipate that well enough. That's a shame. I think that's kinda cool though. Like, look at this lava. This is this is pretty sick. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, if you say this isn't, you're you're wrong. I'll be honest though. This Corvette, it handles really well. I don't know why I'm surprised by that. I feel like that makes sense considering what the car is in real life. Like, it's known to be really good. It's a track car, so you know that makes total sense. But it, it sounds good too. Which the Crew 2 isn't known for its car sounds, Motorfest is, but they definitely, I gotta say, the sound in the Crew 2 for this thing is pretty damn good. You can buy it, not sure for how much, but you can. Probably on the lesser scale when you compare it to the Bugattis in the game. I bet you can pick this up for probably under a million. Should you? If you're a Corvette fan, yes. Otherwise, no. No, I think this thing's actually disgusting. It looks good stock, kind of, because like, oh, you know, it's got the, uh, yeah, yeah, but like, and yeah, I chose the wrong front bumper, clearly. But I gotta say, the C8, um, ZR1 or whatever, is better than the C7 ZR1. So do I recommend this? Um, usually when I get to this part at the end of a video, I recommend the car. I'm gonna be honest, this time, I don't. I think it's disgusting. I think the only redeeming part is the wing. And I think this was a waste of my money. I don't know when I bought it, don't know why I bought it. But you know what's cooler? Is actually the golden nugget version of this car, which I seriously don't know how I got. But this even, this is already better than this. This is a piece of poo. This is good. This is not. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I hope you enjoyed today's video. An honest video, I would say. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if you have this car. And if you do, why? Do you like it? What's up? Anyways, till next time, guys. Peace.